Hello, this is Brad Zanders from the Subsite Electronics Product Support Group. And what I'd like to show you now for the next few minutes is sim simply how we would update a TK series tracker or one of our TD or TDR remote displays using an Android device. Now, whether you have a cell phone or an Android tablet, uh, the process should look very similar. So let's get started here. You have your TSR mobile app already installed on your device. So if you double click that, it's going to open up and I'm going to turn the phone here to just show you a little easier. Once the app is opened up, what you're looking for is the connect button up in the upper right hand corner. So if you click on it, you do obviously want to have a tracker on. Make sure the battery power is good in it. Uh, you'd need a remote display on, TD or TDR be powered up. So it's scanning right here, you can see and it's going to be looking for this particular case. I'm trying to update a tracker. The last four digits of the serial number will show up. It's TK2204. So even though it finished scanning, I can go ahead and double click on the, the item I want to connect to. It's going to ask you first, do you want to pair with this tracker? So you're going to hit yes. Now it'll show that it is pairing. This can take a few seconds, so just wait for it to to pair. Once you see the pairing stop, you should be able to double click once again on the item you want to connect to. It'll show it's connecting. Okay, once that happened, we're now connected to the tracker. So obviously what you see immediately is there's new software available. Uh, it's ready to install version 13. Uh, your TKQ will restart when installation is finished. You could actually exit out of this at this point if you didn't want to. Say you were going to be downloading jobs, but we want to do an update in this case. So we're just going to hit yes. It shows now that you're in the middle of a software update. You should notice on your tracker at this point too, it should say please wait. Then it'll say waiting for file. When you see this step come back up on your device, you will have to double click again here. And then now you can see that it is sending the file to your tracker. So you should see on your tracker at this point that it's receiving files. And as you can read there on the device, please wait. It could take a few minutes for this to finish. At this point also the files have actually already sent because once you see your tracker showing that it's receiving the files and then you see this message come up here that just said file sent, you can actually hit OK now and you could back out of the TSR mobile program and your tracker or display should be up to version 13, which you can double check that by when the tracker starts back up or display. If you look in the lower left hand corner, it'll show the current version that you just installed or if you need to go into the menu in the info screens you can find the current version there as well so hopefully you uh, see how easy the process is if you have any further questions um, please contact your local dealer uh, so they can assist you or you're more than welcome to call us again here at the Subsite Electronics Product Support Group thank you